Good morning, everyone. This is the doctor. It is 1.50 p.m. here in the Pacific Northwest. We just rolled out of bed, and I don't know about you guys, but we had a lot of fun on stream last night. Might have had a little bit too much of a Titus laugh, so you guys are going to have to forgive me on that one. We're going to go ahead and be having a discussion on my opinions on what I think you should be farming in the Final Fantasy Tactics events that just came out. There are multiple options for farming, and we do have these events going on for a couple weeks, so you're going to want to make sure you are striking a balance. Some of the things we're also going to be talking about towards the end of the video are all of the new bundles that came out, in my opinion, on if they're worth it or not. So let's go ahead and check out the far plane right now. You can see here that they don't have the EX Tactics missions out yet, so your NRG farming is going to be a little bit more grind-heavy. The one that you are going to be able to grind is going to be the Lionel Castle Interior, and that's going to give you about 40 tokens on the low end for every 6 NRG. So if you're doing math on the low end, and I always assume the low end because you never want to be disappointed, that's about 375 NRG for about 2,500 shards. And if you're like me, you like to farm 5,000... 5,000... I, I said shards, but it's more like uh, event currency. I like to farm 5,000 event currency every day so that I can buy 10 of the each of the awakening mats for my specific units. So you're looking at about 750 NRG right now in just farming that per day right now. So something to think about in regards, this does go until May 12th. So maybe you don't want to grind that right now. I think it's probably one of the best things to grind if you have units that need awakening, right? Because if you consider now between May 12th, that's about 20 days if my math is not fully terrible. Um, <laughs> and if you consider that you're able to buy 10 of each of the awakening materials, that means you could get 200 of each of the awakening materials of your choice towards units that you already have. So whether that's a new Orlando that you pulled, whether it's for Gafgarion, whether it's for a unit that you already have on your team, getting 200 awakening materials of a specific element can be so powerful. So that's the first thing that you can farm. And then the second thing that I want to talk about is the secret book reward quests. Holy cow, you guys. It, if there was a gift right now, <laughs> if there was a gift for what they could give us, it would be these missions right here. So in these missions, you have a choice, right? You have a choice between farming for spear, fists, and guns or sword, greatsword, axe. Not only are the book drops here significantly higher than the farming events that we were doing the other day, you're also going to get equipment leveling up equipment right so you can see down here you get the gold the gold adamantite and the silver adamantite but you also get large growth eggs for your tickets or for your vision cards and you also get regular medium growth eggs for your vision cards so not only is this a huge equipment grinding event this is also a vision card grinding event and it's not advertised as that at all but this is so crazy good, you guys. I honest to God think you should be spending your 725 NRG if you're using your potions. Spend it on the Final Fantasy Tactics event, get your 10 Awakening materials, and then come here and farm this on multi all day long. You should literally be farming this nonstop. You should be doing nothing else in the game except for farming this because the materials you can get for this are so incredible. Not only that, you can get attack seals, you can get health seals, you can get skill seals, you can get damage seals, and it's just the same except the on the other side, right? You just have a couple of the different other seals on the other one right here. And, oh, looks like they're all the same seals. You just have different books. But you also get EXP cubes from this, and not just regular EXP cubes. You get freaking silver and gold EXP cubes. You guys, these are so incredible to farm. You need to be doing these on multi nonstop. This ends on May 5th, so we have a little bit over a week to farm this, and you can guarantee every night on my stream, this is literally what I'm gonna be farming because this is so powerful for any of your units, for any of your future equipment needs, that you are gonna need to be doing this stuff right now. Not only that, you can farm and buy the Nagra Rock recipes right now in the bookstop, in the bookstore, bookstore, uh, <laughs> in the token exchange shop, and you can grind out the book rewards for sword here or great sword. You can grind out the book rewards for spear, fists, and guns. So all of your characters now 
should, unless you're using a, a staff, which I'm sorry, staff users, <laughs> almost all of your characters should be able to have a maxed out piece of equipment. Whether that's just a regular R piece of gear that's been maxed out, that can make the difference, right? I am a little bit disappointed not to see Katana on here at all, or Great Katana. That's a bummer too, but you know what? I'm going to be happy with Sword and Great Sword and Axe and Spear Fists and Gun. Like, as a Ryu user, as a Stern user, as a now Orlando user, I am just super excited to see all of these right here for us. So, in my opinion, this is probably the best event we've been given yet in Global. And you should be farming the hell out of this in multi all day, every day, up until the event is over. Alright, you guys, do keep in mind that the Etri quest will be ending soon. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the bundles and talk about my opinions on them as well, because I do think that some of them are worth it. And oh, Monster Shards, don't mind if I do. <laughs> and we'll talk about sort of in the long run where I think we should be going. So let's go ahead and um, let's head to the special shop. And the first bundle we're going to talk about is the Vision Card Job Crystal Bundle. So it's one time only, includes paid Vizior and the Vision Card Job Crystal. Now the Job Crystal gives enhanced JP to your entire party, and it gives the specific unit using it plus 20% AP. And I believe this could be powerful, and I think it is something you should be thinking about, especially since it's a low price, and you are gonna be getting reasonable stats from it, 240 HP, 70 attack, and 70 magic is really good. JP acquisition plus 50% is really good as well. And I think honestly, it's going to be a good card for farming. And it might even be a good card in PvP depending on the plus 20% AP acquisition. So if using an ability like Sentinel or something else gives you that plus 20% AP acquisition changes the amount of AP you get in order to use like a stronger ability. For example, maybe Hazard Break instead of Shuriken, or, you know, Taunting Blade instead of Killing Blade, or whatever it might be. If that can push you over the threshold, this card might be extremely powerful for your character. But you have to make sure you know how you're using it and that you're using it right for anything besides grinding, right? So in terms of that, I think it's a very fair deal, very good price. I think everyone should probably buy this and not to mention you get 490 Vizior, which is a pretty good deal. Now, let's see. I seem to recall there was another bundle, but I think I missed it for right now. Let's go ahead to the Final Fantasy Tactics shop. Let's talk about the Ramza unit pack. Getting a paid Ramza for 5,000 paid Vizior, I'm not sure it's worth it. If you look in here, all you're getting is Ramza. You're, you're getting Ramza, three Rainbow Spheres, and a Rainbow Fragment of Thought. For 5,000 paid Vizior, you could do a guaranteed UR summon. You could do so much more. To give you perspective, if you did your daily pull, right, you could get how many daily pulls and probably get a Ramza or get the equivalent of a much stronger UR unit in the future. I mean, it doesn't make sense to buy this pack, I don't think, and I wouldn't recommend buying this pack unless you were desperate for Ramza as the one unit you want and you don't want to take a chance rolling on the gacha. That's understandable. I could see you wanting to do that. But again, you have to remember, 5,000 paid Vizior is $79.99, and that's a lot of money just for a single unit that you might not be able to max limit break and max awaken when you buy it. Not only that, you also have this training pack, which for 2,000 paid Vizior gives you 40 unit shards. One rainbow thought, it gives you some light fragments. When right next to it, for 2,000 regular Vizior, you get 40 Ramza shards and you, you don't have to, you don't get the rainbow, but I mean, is paid Vizior, paid Vizior is such a strong commodity I'm not sure I would use it on the Ramza training pack either. Honestly, I mean, this is just kind of top of my mind, something I'm thinking about right now. I'm not sure it would be worth it. Let's kind of look at some of the other things that came out, because there are some other things that came in the 3 millions download shop. 
which I think we need to talk about. If you didn't know, there is a daily free EXP cube. The daily, the EXP gift cubes I would not buy either. These are with regular Vizior, and I wouldn't buy them at all. I mean, I don't think an NRG large, I mean, maybe an NRG large is worth this, right? Because an NRG restoration, if you use an NRG restoration for 50 Vizior, that's gonna be about 88 for me, Vizior restoration. So for me, this might be worth it since I do use my Vizior for restoration sometimes. Faint memory pack, don't buy this. Uh, EXP cubes, I wouldn't buy this either. And these, I actually would consider buying if you have a lot of paid Vizior lying around. These are actually incredible deals. And these are the 300 paid Vizior and you can basically get 10 Awakening Prisms and 10 Fragments of Thought. So the price we've seen for these keeps going down, right? So they're kind of kind of the going price for these is a thousand Vizior, regular Vizior, for ten of one of those. And in three hundred paid Vizior, I would say is about equivalent to a thousand free Vizior. And I think this would probably be a really good deal. So if you have a lot of paid Vizior lying around, this is what I would potentially use your paid Vizior on. The Rainbow Training Pack, I would not buy that. The 3 million downloads unit awakening pack. It's kind of nice, but I think it's also a trap as well. I'm not sure I would buy this. I think if you're I think if you're up here looking at these things and you're like, oh, I kind of want to buy these, I would buy the 3 million downloads rainbow awakening pack first, since you get 100 for the cost of a thousand as opposed to getting. So I mean if you break it down right, this is gonna be 200 items for the cost of a thousand paid Vizior versus 20 items for the cost of 300 paid Vizior. So this one is gonna give you a discount and an advantage here. Something to think about there. Rainbow Training Pack though, definitely not worth it. Uh, Rainbow Vision Sphere, I would definitely buy. I don't have a lot of gill right now, but I am gonna buy all those out, I promise. And make sure you check this out down here, you guys, because there's a lot of items you can buy with gill that are just awesome. You're gonna get 100 large egg awakenings. You're gonna get 100 medium egg awakenings. I mean, these are just like, it's a treasure trove in here. <laughs> I would say that's about that's about all I have to say for it. Now, if you did get lucky enough to pull in Orlando, make sure you do need to get enough shards or a Ramza as well to awaken them to three, uh, awaken, uh, limit break three, so that they can get their max level as well before the end of this event. All right, you guys, that's everything I had today. I did just want to go over kind of all the cool farmings and some of the new bundles. I'm definitely going to be farming this on stream for probably the next two weeks. <laughs> so if you guys want to come hang out with us, we do stream from about 7.30 to 11.30 p.m. Uh, War of the Visions exclusively. And we do farm a lot and we make a lot of multi-rooms. We also make a lot of multi-rooms in my Discord. So if you guys want to check out my Discord down in the comments section, come hang out with us, choose a team, Team Killsnapper or Team Tomberry, and we'll get you into a multi-farming room. Thank you so much, you guys. I love hearing from you. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day.